After Representative Ted Yoho, a Republican, lashed out at Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez with a reductive and, and sexist insult, House leaders called for civility, including some Republican politicians. So Steny Hoyer spoke out. And Steny Hoyer said the following We need to pursue this kind of conduct and make it clear. And make it very clear that it is unacceptable. I think it was despicable conduct that needs to be sanctioned. And then House Minority Leader, my bad, so that was House Majority Leader. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, a Republican, also spoke out. And he said the following, we think everybody should show respect to one another. And not knowing what took place, I'll have a discussion with him, meaning Yoho, to see what happened. And so later, Yoho released a statement and it was nonsense. He said, as you know, these conversations happen frequently when the House is in session. Yoho's office also noted that he uttered his crudest remark only after the confrontation was over, as if that makes it any better, while denying the precise language he used. So remember, it was reported that he said effing you know, bitch. And he claims that no, he said bull. You know the rest, um, and that it was a reference to her policy positions. And so later he offered a verbal apology, which wasn't really an apology, and you can judge for yourselves. Here he is. I rise to apologize for the abrupt manner of the conversation I had with my colleague from New York. It is true that we disagree on policies and visions for America, but that does not mean we should be disrespectful. Having been married for 45 years with two daughters, I'm very cognizant of my language. The offensive name calling uh, words attributed to me by the press were never spoken to my colleagues. And if they were construed that way, I apologize for their misunderstanding. As my colleagues know, I'm passionate about those affected by poverty. My wife Carolyn and I started out together at the age of 19 with nothing. We did odd jobs. And we were on food stamps. I know the face of poverty. And for a time, it was mine. That is why I know people in this country can still, with all its faults, rise up and succeed and not be encouraged to break the law. I will commit to each of you that I will conduct myself from a place of passion and understanding that policy and political disagreement be vigorously debated with the knowledge that we approach the problems facing our nation with the betterment of the country in mind and the people we serve. I cannot apologize for my passion or for loving my God, my family, and my country. I yield back. I cannot apologize for being such an awesome person, a stand up citizen. Mm -hmm. I think that's how he apologized to AOC. It wasn't an apology. Look, honestly, I don't really care. And I know that AOC said, you know, I want him to apologize to me. Um, but who cares? You know, like, you're, be a badass. Like, who, you're, you're getting under the skin of these, like, older men who have been in positions of power for a while mm -hmm. now, right? So like, enjoy that and troll them. Like, mm -hmm. I love it when she trolls them. I think that that and makes fun of them and dunks on them in her own like clever way. I, I wouldn't care about getting an apology from someone like Yoho because I know who Yoho is. And I know that the apology, even if it uh, sounded sincere, wouldn't actually be, be sincere. He called her an effing bitch. That's what he thinks about her. He can apologize all he wants, but we all know the truth. She knows the truth. So enjoy the fact that he gets that that you get under his skin, that you're you know renting space in his mind or whatever that saying is, mm -hmm. um, taking up space in his mind rent free, whatever. Um, so <laughs> what do you think about it, John? Uh, you know, she is your hero, so I wanted to. Thank okay. you for acknowledging that. Um, that should be my Chiron. Uh, yeah, he can apologize all he wants, except that he didn't. So far, he said a bunch yeah. of words, and the word apologize was one of them. Um, but not only did no one ask him to, so far as I know, they certainly didn't ask for him to apologize for his passion or for his God or for any of those things. Nobody asked you that. What a ridiculous, <laughs> you idiot. I understand what you're doing, but nobody asked you to do that. Even if you're going to apologize, helpful tips um, say the name of the person you're apologizing to, because somebody could have watched that and have no idea. 
Um, don't say you apologize for the abrupt nature of the conversation when it wasn't a conversation, you just accosted her. And the abruptness really wasn't the thing we're concerned about. You never acknowledged the things that you said. In fact, you denied them directly, even though multiple witnesses heard what you said. You like, like a child denied that you said it. And the thing is, while I don't, she doesn't, I'm sure she doesn't care. She's gonna be perfectly fine. She was dunking him on, on Instagram and Twitter yesterday after it. Um, I'm glad that he did it because it let us see who he is and mm -hmm. see that the sort of buffoonish, emotional, like bully that he is, that brand of like Republican masculinity has only existed because it has walled off other forms of strength. And now it's having to come up against those and it is coming up wanting. And and they know that yeah. they they know, they know how ridiculous they look. They know that's why so many of them attack her anonymously, um, you know, through Politico and things like that. He comes off this looking so horrendous. I'm sure his fans will like it because he he's a misogynist and he swore to a woman, and that's what they want. But rational people they don't see that and think that that's a movement that they want to be part of. Yeah, and and one final thing I want to mention is, you know, he claims to be someone who cares deeply about helping those in poverty because he took advantage of the social safety net when he and his family needed it. He had confessed that he needed food stamps. The reason why he lost his temper with AOC, the reason why she got under his skin is because she made a comment during a virtual town hall meeting about how poverty leads to an increase in crime, including petty crime, right? And look, I think it's really important for us to not miss the fact that crimes, so-called crimes that are committed out of desperation. Remember, George Floyd, what what started the the horrible um, you know events that happened the day that George Floyd was murdered on the streets in broad daylight was that he you know allegedly used a counterfeit bill. You don't use a counterfeit bill unless you're desperate, right? And so it's really important to talk about the toll of, of poverty on people's lives and why we've historically seen an uptick in, in crime and why we're now unfortunately starting to see it happen again because of coronavirus and the fact that tens of millions of Americans are jobless and are not receiving the help that they need from our federal government. Um, and so if he really genuinely cares about people in poverty and he acknowledges the importance of uh, the social safety net, something like food stamps for instance, why did he get so triggered at AOC speaking truth there? Because yeah. what she's trying to do is urge Congress to act and help people who are now suffering from poverty, in many cases at no, no fault of their own. Their businesses are shut down, they've been laid off, they've been furloughed. You know, The economic instability in this country was already bad enough with nearly 50% of the country unable to afford a $400 emergency. And then you throw coronavirus into the mix with all these people who have been laid off and fired. What she was speaking there was the truth and it definitely triggered him. So he doesn't care about people in poverty at all. He wants to shut that door right behind him after he gets to take advantage of the social safety net. When you sign up for a spend and save account at aspiration.com slash TYT, we will plant 10 trees. Let's save the planet together.